Face the Savage. What's up guys, it is your boy Ratchet, and welcome to another Call of Duty video. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, just because I've been uh, trying out other games and hopefully you guys won't mind that. Um, been playing a lot of Destiny and Battlefield, really fun, really good change from uh, Ghost. So anyway, I'm back with another video and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the best class setup for the AK-12. So hopefully you guys will enjoy and hopefully it could help you out to get a better score and maximize your... Uh, success with this gun in the game so let's get straight into it guys uh, for our primary we of course have the AK-12 with the silencer and uh, grip so silencer so we can stay off the radar and we are not seen on the radar when we shoot and grip so that because the AK-12 has quite a bit of recoil and uh, to manage that and stay on target most of the time we have grip uh, for our perks, I'm sorry, we don't have any secondary, lethal or tactical, so we can get as many perks as um, possible. So for our perks, again, we have ready up, so we can bring our gun faster up uh, after sprinting. Um, because we're going to be sprinting a lot, as you guys can see in this gameplay, and we need to be ready for every single gunfight. So ready up is essential. Then we have stalkers, so we can strafe um, faster around corners, so we can bring our gun up and be ready for every single gunfight and not be touched and just dominate the playing field. Uh, then we have dead silence so we can keep our footsteps off the radar so that our enemies cannot hear our footsteps. Um, this is really important in a game mode like free for all where footsteps are really important. So yeah, then we have um, fully loaded so we start off with the full ammo capacity and we don't need to pick up anyone else's crappy guns as you guys know um, in Call of Duty people have weird setups and we just don't want to be uh, we just don't want to end up with some weird setup so we can stick with our AK-12 throughout the game um, and we do have scavenger in our specialist so uh, if even if we do run out of ammo we still have a backup scavenger so we should never be able to run out of, run out of ammo um, then uh, we have resilience as a one point perk you could put any other perk but i prefer resilience because you're going to be jumping down uh, higher places a lot so you don't want any falling damage uh, which could put you at a severe disadvantage if you jump down um, a building say um, so that resilience really useful for a one point perk um, so we have specialists because we are going for kem strikes and good gameplays with this class and i think um Specialist is the best way to do that because the number of perks in Call of Duty is a lot and if we have most of them we pro we're practically a super soldier and unstoppable so yeah for our first specialist perk we have sleight of hand um, to of course when there are many sticky situations where we have to reload quickly and sleight of hand helps us as you guys can see in this gameplay where I turn on this guy because of sleight of hand I could reload in time many examples in this gameplay so then we have um, Amplify as our second perk because we could hear enemies footsteps louder and really really helps out even that even having only that challenge you can hear their footsteps but with Amplify it just becomes even more louder and even more easier to know when your enemies are coming near you and this could be done with any headset whatsoever guys even if you connect a pair of standard earphones which come free with your phone um, to the back of your TV with an adapter, you could easily hear footsteps. Sound is one of the most important things in Ghost and is done really, really well by Infinity Ward. So make sure you use that and make sure you have the right perks. And after watching this video, hopefully you do and hopefully you do well. Um, then we have Scavenger again to uh, not run out of ammo. For our specialist, we have Dead Eye and Hardline. Um, Hardline, so we can get the KEM one kill before. And in this gameplay, I think I do go on a 22 streak. Uh, as you guys see, I could have got a KEM strike, but I choked as usual. So yeah, that's it guys for the episode of the best class setup with the AK-12. Um, I'll add some other gameplay in the background because my gameplay has run out. Um, I'm just going to talk to you guys about my 300 subscriber milestone. So thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. It means a lot. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here recording videos um, because I wouldn't have any motivation 
if I had like one subscriber, then there's no point of recording because no one's gonna watch your videos. But again, thank you guys for 300 subscribers, it means a lot. And uh, to give back f uh, to you guys, I've started a shout out series. So, you guys, I, when I give the channels who I deserve, think more ex or need more exposure than what they're currently getting, and just le just want to help the community out, help the small channels grow. Because I understand it's really hard to grow uh, as a small channel to get exposure, to get viewers. So, I'm just doing what little I can. I'm not the biggest channel in the world, of course, but. I have a decent amount of subscribers which could help a small channel grow and give that the, give them the kickstart um, to you know do well on YouTube and have fun. The main thing is we grow as a community, we grow as a family, we help each other out and we become the best community on YouTube. So yeah, it's really hard to grow as I said so I just want to do my bit to help out the community and if you guys want to be featured in that just stay active in my videos, be a subscriber of mine. Uh, so I can notice you and if I love your channel, uh, if you like your channel, I think it's worthy of more subscribers then I'll definitely give you a shout out. So maybe not in the next episode, maybe in future episodes. Uh, so yeah. And hope you guys enjoyed this AK12 uh, setup. Hopefully it helped you out. Really enjoyed doing these uh, best class setups. Uh, I like doing them a lot. And one quick tip for free for all guys. Um, I know I'm packing quite a lot into this video but... Hopefully you're informed and I just want to express, um, what am I saying, express my gratitude for 300 subscribers, so that'll be great. Oh uh, yeah, so one tip for free for all is hold down one area if you're going for a good gameplay like I am. Because in free for all, as you guys know, there are only 30 kills um, in a game and uh, if you get like a 10 kill streak while running around, someone just spawns behind you because you guys know the spawns in free for all and ghosts especially. You probably spawn like you just walk past the spawn point and you don't look at it for a second and next second you look someone's behind you and just takes you out with a knife or just shoots you in the back um so you guys don't want that so you just basically hold on an area like you saw in the previous gameplay um and try and get a KEM so I can don't choke like me um so yeah that is my number one tip for free for all um so you guys might have heard in my previous videos um yeah so that's it guys for this video hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like down below um subscribe for more call of duty destiny titanfall any game you want me to play i'll play it for you guys as long as you guys enjoy it and peace out guys see you guys in the next one take care i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like down below and subscribe for more content click the two videos on screen if you haven't checked them out and be sure to use the code TGR for 5% off Cinch Gaming Controllers. They're great controllers and I definitely, definitely recommend them and they do improve your performance. Thanks guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm out. Peace.